Hello, Jeff. Good morning. Hi, good morning. <laughs> Lovely to uh, see you. Well, uh, good morning to you. Good evening to me. As uh, we're very, very happy today to have one of our alumni from the U.S. based in Portland. Yeah, Portland, Oregon. Uh, Jeff, can you please uh, introduce yourself? Yeah, my name is Jeff Roscoviak. I live in Portland, Oregon, and uh, I attended Arsatoria in 2018 and took three different courses there. And, um, you know, since then have found myself back in Portland, uh, utilizing those skills in many different ways. Would you like to tell us a little bit about your uh, background prior to uh, studying at Arsatoria? Yeah, I'll, uh, growing up, I always loved art and I loved exercise. And so I always was playing outside. I was always drawing. I was always building things. And I really never imagined um, if I was young and looked forward where I would be today. I had no, no idea what I was going to do. <clears throat> but it just so happened that I found a home in the footwear industry, utilizing creative skills and hands-on making skills. And uh, I really enjoy it. And so um, when I went to school in college, university, I studied graphic design and, and kinesiology, which is like exercise science. And I worked as a graphic designer actually right out of school for a while. And then I took a, a, a job in, in Portland, Oregon eventually at Nike, luckily after knocking on the door for quite a long time and was worked in footwear development in Nike sportswear. And so that was a really incredible place to work, a big brand, a lot of energy, a lot of really exciting projects, a lot of fun travel and consumer insights and just getting a huge download um, about shoes and sneaker making and shoe making in general. And um, from there, I actually ended up choosing to leave and attend Arsatoria because I wanted to hone in my skills towards pattern making and prototyping more. It's something I had been experimenting with for years and years prior to leaving Nike. But um, uh, I developed a relationship with Paolo and Arsatoria while I was at Nike because they will come teach courses there and whatnot. And I always told Paolo, I said, someday I'm going to come to Italy and take some courses. And sure enough, I stuck to my promise. And, uh, and I came to Italy and took courses and really enjoyed it and learned a lot. And then from there, I, I came back and I traveled a little bit and then came back to the States and started to basically accomplish some goals um, that uh, required me to implement some of those new skills that I had. And um, I took a job with a company in Portland called Keen Footwear and I'm their footwear concept creation manager. So with that, I'm on a small innovation team in which we try to generate new ideas and work on new concepts and prototype shoes in-house. So I, I use a lot of pattern making skills and hands-on shoe making skills there. And then I also have a business uh, called Kick Rich that I started about a year and a half ago or so. And that's a boutique sneaker making business where I have individual clients or brands that approach me and want um, either very small size runs, let's say 15 pairs or less or something, or one of one sneakers made from scratch um, for them as gifts or collectibles or who knows what. Sometimes they just sit them in a glass box and stare at them because they just love sneakers so much. But that pretty much comprises where I'm at today. I spend my time working at Keen full time and then most of my other time uh, making custom shoes for people. Well, you're certainly uh, um, working a lot with a full-time job and then your own activity. Uh, it's absolutely in inspiring and motivational to listen to you. Uh, so thank you for sharing your story. Uh, one thing that I would like to ask to complete this interview is uh, how do you feel that the training that you got at our Satoria School has supported your professional development or inspirations? Yeah, I think that what our Satoria gave me was confidence. So how do I describe this? Um, when, you, when you learn a new skill, you can, let's say, pick up a book and you can read about it and you have a lot of head knowledge. And that head knowledge at some point, if you're going to be a craftsman or someone that works with your hands in any way, it's got to translate to from here to here with your hands. And, and you have to embody the knowledge and learn and train your body to use it. And I think going to Arsatoria, I had years and years of exposure to pattern making, to trying to make my own shoes by hand, to trying to create my own patterns by hand. 
and success being successful and failing and asking a lot of questions to people that were shoemakers and saying, how do you do this? How do you pattern a car lining? How do you do this? And, and getting all this information that I kept in books. And when I went to Architoria, I was able to kind of just open up about what I had already learned and also be very moldable um, when I went to school there to learn new skills and to learn, let's say, more or less the right way to do it uh, and, and to kind of solidify that this is how you do this. This is how you should create a struggle pattern. Um, and I think that with pattern makers and shoemakers, everyone kind of sometimes puts their spin on things and will eventually land on their way of doing something. But I got a great basis education on lots of styles of shoes and especially styles that I probably would have never been exposed to learning how to pattern or make unless I went to Arstoria. A lot of classical shoes, which was really great because that's a great place to start because those that'll all translate into more complex styles like let's say a really complicated sneaker upper. So I definitely, definitely got a lot of good education at Arstoria and uh, I'm very grateful to have gone there and it really built my confidence up to come back to the States and be able to take those skills and start to grow them even further and practice them. And uh, I mean, I always ha I have like three large notebooks and a couple of notebooks of notes. And I constantly go back to those notebooks, honestly. Uh, it's too much information to just fully embody and keep in your head all the time. And so I'm always referencing my books to check, to check out and refresh my mind. Even when I was there, you know, some of the teachers, they'll have their notebooks too. Of, of notes and things that they uh, want to want to remember or just refresh their brain on really quick. And I think that's just because we're human <laughs> and we're not computers <laughs> and with unlimited storage. And um, yeah, I, I feel very confident after going to our story that I got a great education. It was well worth it. And I definitely would always suggest that people attend because it's not just a an experience in, in education. It's I, I met so many great people when I was there and uh, and I, I still keep in contact with them to this day. And it expanded my reach in the world um, as far as who I know, what they do, and, and just my footwear ties all over the place. And met tons of great people. And the great thing is, is that they're still friends to this day. And that's something that's also adds to the experience a lot. Jeff, uh, thank you so much. Nothing to add. You've been uh, uh, extremely energetic as always. We appreciate very much so on behalf of the our Satoria family, thank you for, for your time and for sharing your experience. Absolutely, my pleasure. Thanks for asking me.